Alec, still unobserved, entered the blockhouse that served as a public restroom for Jackson Square. He silently moved toward the horse rapid breathing, where he found Mark furiously beating off. No one else was in the restroom, and that made his job easier, even though there was often a hear no, see no evil mentality in the residents of New Orleans. With one twist of his hand, the demon tore the locked door from its hinges. When he heard the loud crash behind him, Mark jerked away from his fantasy. Startled and angry at the intrusion, he stopped the rapid motions and turned to look at the person responsible, ready to give them a good cussing. It wasn't a person. It was the most horrible monster he could have imagined. A devil with blazing red skin and searing red eyes stood before him. Those horrible eyes stared right into his soul. Mark knew without a doubt that it had come for him and there was no escape. The massive body, at least eight feet tall, filled the entire doorway. In dread and panic, he fell backwards against the wall, banging his head hard in an effort to flee. Oh, my God! He cried out in fear and trepidation as the creature moved closer. Not quite, the monster calmly replied. But the words spoken sounded like a thousand angry voices to the horrified pedophile. Mark was terrified by the sight and sounds, and less concerned that he was caught with his dick in his hand. He quaked in fright. His heart raced and his eyes grew wide as the reality of his sins slammed directly and forcefully in his face. He'd always known that what he did to small, innocent children was the gravest of sins. He knew he'd pay for it one day, but he'd convinced himself that the afterlife was a long time off. He'd never imagined that the payment would be extracted so soon or that it would come to drag him to hell and damnation on this very day.